everyone, my name is Catherine and this is Ellie WebDev. This channel is dedicated to beginners and intermediates of the Elementor page builder for WordPress. Today's topic is about container ordering. Yes, in responsive mode, you can change the order of items, containers, and their children and how they are ordered in each responsive size. Wow, let's take a look. So here I am on my page and I have four items in a row and they're actually graphics. They are actually pictures. It's an, it's an image. And so I have decided that on the desktop mode, I'm going to have one through four. I'm going to on tablet, make it two, three, four, one. And on mobile, I'm going to have it three, four, two, one. So we'll just change all the ordering around. And so I'm going to come down here with my pointer and we're going to come over here to the responsive mode. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to open it back up. That shows the three responsive sizes by default. And so what we'll do is we'll now switch it to tablet mode. And so in tablet mode, I want to make sure that one, two, three, four is now two, three, four, one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the item. I'm going to go to advanced and I need to control the item itself. And right here, there is an order and I'm going to click custom and it's not working because I have not set it up on the desktop mode. So we need to go back to the desktop mode because we have to identify in desktop mode how they will let line up. So if I go to custom here, see how we get the custom order box? Okay, there's a little gotcha. You have to set it in desktop mode before you get to the other responsive sizes. So custom order, yes, number one is going to be number one. And you're freaking out right now, I know. Number one is now at the end. Just make sure you number each item and they will line up in the order in which you have forced them to be. Okay, so I'm going to go to number two. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to order and I'm going to say number two. See, now they're starting to add up. See, one, now two. Let's go to three. Advanced and order, custom order number three, and then we'll force number four to be the fourth item in the order. So four. So now we force them all to be in that order. So now if we go to tablet and I click on each one of these items, so I've clicked on the first item, the first item has number one. So it is a trickle down effect. They all keep the same number in tablet size. So I want number two to be number one in tablet mode. So I'm going to click on number two. And again, it has a number two here. So I'm going to say, I want you to be number one. And you're saying, well, it didn't move again. You have to force the number on each item. So if I go to number three, I'm going to say, I want you to be number two. And number four is going to be three. You have to force them all. You have to assign them all to. And so number one is going to be four and watch it move. There you go. So as long as you force them with a the number, they will line up to the number you have given them. Okay. So now we'll go to mobile. And so they are two, three, four, one. And since we have a specific size, I'm not sure whether these items will fit side by side. So what we're going to do for right now, the first step is to reorder them to have number three as number one. So I'll go to number three and make it number one. Number four is position number two. 
one is position number three, and two is position number four. So they all line up. So if we want to see whether or not these images are small enough, as in pixel wide, to fit the width, let's just, let's just find out whether or not they fit. So what I have to do is I have to go to the parent container that holds the children, and the children are the images. So I'm going to click on the parent container, and I will go to layout of the items, and I will say row. They are already in a row, and they don't fit. So we would have to then go in and resize the images and so forth, but let's just make everything fit in the center. That works great for mobile, so we don't really have to touch anything. We would have to resize the images to fit, you know, side by side because they're wider than 50% or whatever, however the pixel wise base is. So that's how you can get items and, and children to reorder in different responsive sizes. So that's all well and good, Catherine, but not everybody's going to have one, two, three, four in their pages. So why don't we just scroll down because I have another demonstration for you, which is an actual menu. Oh, wow. An actual menu. We have our logo, we have a menu, we have uh, our social media icons, and we have a call now button. All right, so I'm gonna go to the logo, and obviously we, all, we want that to be number one. So we'll force the logo to be number one. Again, don't freak out. It's just reordering itself, but it's going to reorder in the order in which you force them Oops, not the Z index. We want the order. I was just looking at a place to put a number. There's number two. The menu is number two. Number three will be the order of the social icons. And the call button is going to be the order of number four. So we have set it for desktop. Now let's move on to tablet. Nothing changes because it trickles down. So if we decide that we want to not show the social icons on the tablet mode because everything is just so squished, we can do that. That's just normal practice of hiding responsive items. So I'll come down here to responsive and we will say on tablet, we want to hide the social icons. And so that's hidden. It's, got, it's grayed out and has slashes through it to let you know that that item is not going to be shown on tablet size. All right. And so if we go to mobile, well, again, it trickles down, but not necessarily sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go again in the mobile mode, and I'm going to hide on mobile as well, but I don't want the button to be the fourth item. I know it's going to be possibly removed from the space there, but I literally want to swap the social icons and the button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for the social icons, let's go back out to layout and the order of the social icons I want to put in the fourth position and the button I want to put in the third position. I just want to make sure things are going to show up in the order in which I want them to. Oops, 34. That's not going to work. Let's put a three there. So there we go. We've actually reordered to make doubly sure that even if the social icons are removed from the flow, um, I want the call us now button to be in the third position. So that works just great. And we've got the logo and everything set for desktop and tablet. So that's great. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit better 
how to order your container items and containers themselves.